have received 136k. So a little in 20 minutes we made 250k or something. Close to that. It's not bad. Hey guys, it's me, Fisherman Whispers, and I'm back with another ASMR video. And for this ASMR video, we're back at it again with some old school RuneScape. It's seriously one of my most favorite games right now that I'm playing. And, uh, and yeah, I know a lot of you guys want to see Clash Royale, Clash of Clans. It's on its way. But this is definitely... I'm having a lot of fun on this game right now. Okay. So a little by little, playing a little bit of everything, I guess you could say. But um, I wanted to explain my current equipment that I have on my character. Uh, one of my friends decided to help me out a little bit. And that's why I have all of this stuff right there. I was very close to being able to get a dragon hunter crossbow, but that would mean that I would have to sell my Pegasian boots. Um, so someone helped me out and uh, one of my friends and they hooked me up with some things which is really really nice of them. Um, but yeah it's pretty cool. Um, I do owe that person back <laughs> though so it's basically a loan so yeah. Uh, but it's still cool, it's gonna speed things up. Um, this, these are my stats right now. Um, we have decent stats, and the Dragon Hunter crossbow is really powerful when you're first in dragons, like Vorkath or Brutal Black Dragons and stuff like that. But for this video, we're just gonna relax, guys, and uh, we're going to be fighting uh, some Brutal Black Dragons. And if you don't know, that is literally one of the easiest things you could do in this game. It's very AFK for the most part and you get some decent bit of money per hour um, defeating these guys and you know I'm also leveling up my ranging little by little by doing this. I seriously probably got like 200,000 experience already um, so it's pretty nice you know get some money um, level up your range. Um, it's pretty cool because I have 90 range and it's about to be 91 and my hit points are about to be 90, so it's pretty nice. I do want to get 99 range one day, hopefully, because in my opinion, range is one of the most useful things for combat. Um, I think it's amazing, you know, especially for bossing um, late game, so yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, little by little, just uh, improving my account. I do want to start finishing some quests because, as you can see, I have 225 quest points. And if you don't know, that's getting very close to getting the quest cape. And uh, I always wanted to get the quest cape on this game for so long. And um, it might happen. You know, I know I could do... I could probably get the quest cape in a day if I really wanted to. I'm not even joking. Um, there's only one thing, one quest that can actually take me a little bit of time. Which I believe is this one, making friends with my arm. Um, it requires like I think it's seventy-two thieving and um, something else like agility. So that's gonna take me some time to get there. Um, but for the other quest, I think I can already start them. Um, yeah, I think I can already start them from what I from what I remember. Um, but yeah, it's not that many quests really. It's literally almost done with the quest and. I only have one quest left for free to play. It's like a 10 minute um, request, so it's not too bad. Just 10 minutes and then that's it, that quest is done. Um, most of these quests are like 20, 30 minutes long, which is not bad, but you know, it's I'm right there to getting the quest cape, so why not just get that out the way? You know what I mean? You know, so, you know, it's gonna be pretty cool. So I would like to get the quest cape. So I'm looking forward to it. You know, it, it makes it makes questing easier for me too because recently I finished uh, Monkey Madness 2 and I finished Dragon Slayer 2, um, which are extremely difficult long quests. And now that when I do a 30 minute quest, it doesn't feel that difficult because Monkey Madness 2 and Dragon Slayer 2, those quests took me like five hours each. Okay, that was not easy to do. But it was well worth it because I don't have to do the quest again. And, uh, you know, I have this to show for it for Dragon Slayer 2. I can defeat Vorkath, make quite a lot of money. 
and uh, Monkey Madness 2. It's an amazing training spot that you unlock. And you also get some other cool stuff, like for Hunter, and some other cool, awesome stuff from those quests. That's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, just little by little, um, growing the account, trying to make it uh, decent. Um, it would be nice if I could AFK more. Um, in the job that I have, I can't really like AFK. You can actually do something if you guys don't know. Is um, in the nightmare zone. You can AFK for a very long time there, and some people just go on their phone and play the game. Um, my job, I can't really get my phone out. You know what I mean? It's kind of I'm working, but there's some other jobs out there that people do that they're able just to get their phone out for a minute or something, do something, and AFK, and they get a lot of XP per hour. I seen a guide on that, and the dude got like 99 strength and range, like like in a week or something like that. It was insane. Um, just by AFK, it was, it was crazy. Um, but yeah, just little by little, trying to grow the account. Uh, right now, since I do have this equipment, what I'm trying to go for, okay. I'm trying to get um, Vengeance, which I think is 92 or 94 magic, and I want to also get Rigor, which is for prayer, um, and that's like 58 mil, so basically 60 mil to unlock this, but that's going to speed things up for me to defeat like Warcath or anything really um, when I use range, because I use this, and this one's it's so bad compared to Rigor. Rigor is so powerful and I really want to get that. Got a long way to go though to get that. I don't want to sell any of my equipment. Um, right now, I don't think that'll be smart. Um, I know I could sell probably like the Picasian boots or something, but I really don't want to do that. Um, I want to keep the equipment as it is and then just build my bank up and get better stuff. Also for Brood of Black Dragons and Anguish would be nice to have as well. And a um, twisted bu buckler, however you say it, that would be nice too. I think that's actually max gear. And then Elite Void, of course. Elite Void, I'm working on it little by little. Um, the main thing that I struggle with is 68 farming, I believe it is. And that's going to take me a while to do. Uh, unless if I do that mini game for farming, but that's so boring usually. Like, I'm not really in the mood to do that right now. Um, but yeah, I can do that as well. Uh, I'm just doing like tree runs, getting some experience. Like every day I've been leveling up that basically. So it's not too bad. Um, it's going to take some time now. Um, but yeah, just slowly leveling up the account. I would like to one day get 2000 plus total uh, for my level. That would be really, really cool. Um, but yeah, that would be really awesome. And, uh, and yeah. Just slowly expanding the growth of the account. It's not easy though. Taking a while. Elite Void would be awesome though. Really want that because I think it gives me a damage bonus. It just stinks because I can't get it yet because of the achievement diaries. It's gonna take me a while to get that just because of farming. If it wasn't for the farming thing, that I could do it. The only, and also for that achievement diary, I need to defeat uh, Zora, the boss. I have never defeated that boss before. I tried, but my damage was not enough. He, he would have so much uh, health left. So, I don't, I don't know. That was before that. I had better stats now, but he definitely is a difficult boss. I don't really know the rotations. I was just following a, a, a guide um, for uh, Zora. I think Vorkath is really e is a lot easier, and I think it might be even more profit per hour compared to uh, Zora, but I'm not too sure. It just depends. Probably gonna have like a twisted bow, like Zora would be really easy, but I don't. Because a twisted bow is like... It's like a bill, it's like a billion GP to get that, that's a lot of money. Right now I probably have like this is it this is practically my bank right here um my 200 mil around there so yeah got a long way to go though to get <laughs> a bill on this game 
I, I got I got some goals though. I want to get the the Gazario Rapier, however you say it. Um, that's like the best in slot for training strength, and I do want to train strength after I finish my range and uh, magic. That's my I've been training range for so long. I don't think I've been using a melee weapon for a while now. Um, but yeah, it's not bad. I like range. It's easy. Lots of safe spots and stuff like that. It does cost ammo, but you make a decent bit of money, so it's not too bad. Do 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 do. Bring that. Pick that up. Yeah, let's go. So that was one run, like 10 minutes. It's not too bad. I'll do like one more run and we can wrap up the video. I'm just rambling as I defeat some brutal black dragons. And these are really easy to defeat, guys. Like, look, look at my, um, the profit I made during, for that run. It's literally 111k, over 100k. And you can I, I, I'll obviously get more than that. Um, that was a pretty meh run, but it's not bad. Let me show you guys my bank anyways. Um, that's my bank. I have 48 mil. I don't even know how in the world it says I have that. I'm guessing probably because of this, but or this, but I have no idea why it says I have that. Um, but yeah, this is like my, my loot tab, which is not bad. Um, as you can see, not, not too bad. Uh, 2.5 mil plus now it's like 3 mil already made. Um, well, barely trying to, so it's pretty awesome. Let me get uh, probably two of these, two of those, two of these. I don't really need to bring these, but sometimes I, I mess up pretty bad, so... So, yep. And also, the thing is, too, about leveling up, I didn't know this until recently. Uh, magic, if you level that up on this game, you actually will level up your magic offense and also magic defense, and I did not know that. So if I get 99 range, 99 defense, 99 magic, Vorkath is going to be so much easier for me. I'll be able to get so many more runs. Like before, with the Toxic Blowpipe, I, I was able to get one kill uh, per trip against the Vorkath boss, boss. And sometimes, rarely too. With this setup right here, well, you need to switch my amulet to the Salve amulet. I can get two, all the way up to four kills per trip. It's insane. It's a lot more profit per hour, and uh, it's it's pretty awesome. So yeah, it's pretty cool. And then if I were to get rigor and elite void, dude, my profit is gonna go way up per hour fighting more calf. So it's not bad. Usually, what I like to do, I like to just like AFK here. Um, as I do something and uh, or nightmare zone and then I like to when I really want to defeat a boss I just go to Warcath. he's pretty simple to defeat um, he's not too difficult if you ask me he's pretty easy after you know how to fight him um, if you are just getting started with Warcath, I highly recommend a tossing blowpipe when you start out and then switching it up with a crossbow um, it is more difficult to defeat Warcath with a crossbow because you need to be faster on your um, reaction speed and stuff like that. Um, yeah, you need to be faster. Because if you mess up, you can, you can easily die. Oh, oh man. Oh, my, 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 my. slowly guys I'm also recording um, some days I really don't feel like recording at all and some days I don't feel like editing the video some days I don't feel like even editing the description of the video or adding a thumbnail um, yeah this is it's weird you know I, I just do this you know for fun a hobby and uh, recently I did make a patreon so that will definitely motivate me even if it's like two dollars a month it doesn't even matter that's gonna help me to actually fund for certain things because I wanted to buy things like expensive things, like the three uh, deal or three dial, 
And I wanted to buy some cheap stuff too, like uh, brushes and things like that. And it would be nice if um, I didn't have to spend so much money on videos and stuff like that. But instead, you guys can help me out. So if you guys want to, that's in the description down below. Extremely cheap prices, like a dollar per month. I'm not even joking. It's insane. And you get more stuff, you know. Like for example, this video uh, will be first uploaded to Patreon. I just gotta figure how things work first. If it works out, that's how it's gonna be, and then it's gonna be uploaded to my YouTube. That's uh, one of the perks. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. But yeah, as you can see, this is really relaxing, really chill. Like, literally just super easy, you know, and decent profit per hour. So it's not bad. Like I said, the last trip was like over a little over 100k, but it wasn't that great of a trip. Um, I could actually get like three to 400k per trip here if it's a nice run, um, or even more than that, of course, if it's like a visage. I have yet to get anything that insane from these guys, but that would be absolutely fantastic if that would happen, especially on video. Just AFK and just relax. Really, really easy. It is. It's decent XP as well. We need to feed these guys. I mean, look at this. Look at that. I think I can show you guys the sidebar too if I do this. Um, so that's not too bad. Uh, the session was like an hour. And um, I already got that amount of experience so it's not bad not bad at all why does this guy have so little HP I remember when I had um, that type of combat like here it was not fun at all <laughs> So I started to work and I improved my setup and like I said, one of my friends helped me out. Um, it was alone, so I gotta bring him back. But this will make it easier to, um, what you wanna call it? This will make it easier to make money per hour, so shouldn't take too, too long. I'll probably be made from Vorkav, um, just dragons in general. Probably, I wanna say max 20 mil already I'll probably be made just from defeating these guys in Vorkav. Like for Vorkav I have a little over 100, uh, 100 kills. Or maybe a 10 mil, maybe not 20 mil, it's a little bit, a lot. Maybe 10-ish mil probably. Um, but if I were to defeat Vorkav like a thousand times, that's a lot of money, man. Like that's a lot of money. And I might be able to get the pet, better items, and things like that. Like, just think if I defeat a Warcap and I got this. Dude, I would freak out. That's like 40 mil right here. Like, I don't even know where I would spend that. Probably what I would do, get the Anguish, and then, then I don't know. Like, I'm thinking, what's what can I do to make my range better? You know, because this is what I'm doing mainly on RuneScape right now, so makes me think, you know? It makes me think. And this one's almost done. There we go. Oh yeah, it would be Rigor. Of course, I completely forgot about that. Rigor, that would be the one. So probably, if I want to focus on defeating um, Vorkath, like if I got this drop for Vorkath right now, 
immediately that's going to be put to rigor, you know, because that's like 40 mil. That means I would need 20 more mil, and then I'll be able to get rigor. And that's going to speed my kills per hour, um, fighting for Cath or anything, even these guys. So that definitely would be nice to have. I want that. And then, of course, Elite Void. But I can't get that right now until I get my farming up. I need to get my thieving up as well. Thieving is easy though. I can do like the Ardoing Knights. That's extremely easy. Um, yeah, it's extremely easy. But um, yeah, I think it's this. I need 70 mining, which is just one level. That's a joke. That's it's beyond easy. That's so easy to do. Um, I'll look it up after this trip right here if I remember to I'll get one more kill I think yeah I need to look at the diaries so I can show you guys um, what I actually do need it's not really too much more for the requirements um, because I already finished the quest requirements I just need the, the stats for it one of them is 75 thieving the other one's 70 mining, I believe, and the other one's 68 uh, farming, and that's the one that's going to be a pain. It's things because if I if I did farming runs every day, like, through all this time, I would be like 80 farming, probably. But because I didn't, I can't do really much about it. I need to do farming runs, though, to level it up. Or I could do that mini game, but that mini game is like, ugh, so boring, you just stand there. And just plant seeds, it's really, really boring. Because you can only, I can only do like, for that mini game, if I remember correctly, after you plant all the seeds that you're able to, um, I literally can only do like two or three of those full runs, and then it's been an hour. Like, it's extremely slow, but I do get decent XP. I think it's like 40,000. 50,000 per hour on my level or something. A little bit over that. Not too sure. I forgot. I'll just drop that if anyone wants to pick that up. There we go. That run wasn't that great either. But it's alright. Really easy to defeat those guys. And let us price check. We have received 136k. So, literally in 20 minutes, we made 250k or something close to that, which is not bad. Just thinking about ignoring that guy. Let's go and see. Uh, and my bank is full. I need to do something about the bank space because it's really annoying when the bank gets full. The reason why is because I have this. These are quest items. I don't know what I will need for the quest. That's why I want to get a quest cape. Because if I do that, then I can just remove these items that I know I won't need anymore. Um, you can tell this is 70k, for example, or this. Um, but I might need this, so I don't, I don't know. I could buy it, but it's gonna be expensive. Yeah, you know what? Let's get rid of it. Same with charcoal, I can just buy that. Now. Oh, it goes here. That's oh, weird. I thought they didn't let me put that down. Hmm. That means something else. Um. Oh yeah, I was gonna show you guys my diaries 
for the elite void so this this is the medium one i need to finish that i could do that right now if i want to all those but the hard diaries for the western provinces is the one that gives you the elite void and um well you need to buy the elite void anyways but that's the one is the one that unlo unlocks it i need 6900 which is easy to do i need 70 mining easy to do 68 farming a pain 75 thieving that's easy to do but it's going to take me some time to get there um but yeah it's just mainly the farming and then from all of these the one that's going to be um pretty bad it's probably going to be zora and the uh, chompy bird hat that one's probably going to take me a little bit of time because i need to defeat uh, 300 of uh, chompy birds which takes a little bit of time but that's not too bad it's mainly just a requirement and the other ones are pretty easy to do i think so it's not too bad but yeah the main thing is the reward from this is incredible just to leave void and i really want to get that so little by little gonna get there hopefully but i don't see much experience we got so far in range and um, it's not too bad but I'm going to probably stock up and do some more runs off camera um, yeah I'm just getting a little bit of food which I really don't need but I still like to bring some food and um and anyways um hopefully you guys enjoyed this video I know I wasn't really whispering too much this is a soft spoken um, video I should have been obvious by now Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and um, and, uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys when I when I see you guys. And um, let's do a little emote. You gotta wonder if my character has some neck pain from that. Probably, he probably does. He probably does. Now, but um, I'll see you guys when I see you guys. My name's Fisherman Whispers, and I'm signing out. My cheese breathing, and God bless.